When water is scarce, entire communities can be severely impacted. In the face of shortages, water managers have to make tough decisions about how to allocate their available supplies. To make those choices easier, NOAA analyzes all aspects of drought, such as soil moisture and river levels, to give you the big climate picture about drought and water. NOAA works with a broad spectrum of experts to deliver the full story on drought to people who are working in sectors that are vulnerable to availability, such as farming, shipping, insurance, energy, and tourism. If you're in any of these industries, you'll want to visit the U.S. Drought Portal for maps, data, and expert assessments, easy-to-use tools to help you monitor, plan for, and recover from water shortages. The U.S. Drought Monitor is the portal's most widely used product. Experts from across the United States and Puerto Rico produce a map of current drought conditions every week. Clicking on the map zooms in and provides region and state-specific drought conditions. The colors depict the severity of conditions. Yellow means that water is somewhat scarce, possibly in advance of or even following a drought. Going from orange to dark red indicates regions that are experiencing moderate to exceptional drought. The darkest shade of red represents the kind of drought conditions that we can expect to see only every 50 to 100 years. When drought deepens throughout the Midwest and the Great Plains, America's breadbasket, it can cost the agricultural industry billions of dollars and push food and energy prices skyward. Other features of the U.S. Drought Portal include informational tools that allow people to compare current drought to the recent past, as well as future drought outlooks. Drought Monitor is a valuable tool because it tells people how drought is impacting their region right now. This information allows water managers to make climate-smart decisions for their communities. For Climate.gov, I'm Ned Gardner.